Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Moffis. I'm doing my PhD here in Oak Park. It's on leather jackets, so they're an agricultural pest of grassland and cereals mostly permanent pasture, but also any crop that's gone in after lay or after oilseed rape. They're a grub of leather jackets, are a grub of uh, crane flies and daddy long legs, and they're found in the soil within the first 10 centimeters, and they eat away at the crop roots. So you can see symptoms such as these bare patches in the ground. So I took these two pictures while on field work. And they're said to cause up to 1.5 million pounds worth of damage in Northern Ireland every year. And that's from yield loss because the crops die when they eat the roots. And the spray for them, chlorpyrifos, such as Durasban, has been banned since 2016. And until then, there's been no chemical or cultural control options for farmers. So this is where my project comes in. It's looking for a biological control. We're looking at the soil microbiome. So we're going to collect soil samples from where leather jackets are occurring versus where they're not. And we'll an analyze them for any bacteria, fungi, virus or nematodes that could potentially control leather jackets in the future. So, so far I've been doing field work all across Ireland. So I've got about 30 grassland sites and 30 tillage sites spread out all across. So if you see, there was about six farms here in Kilkee that were absolutely infestated with leather jackets and there was massive problems here. But leather jackets just kind of occur naturally. So it's only until they occur in high populations that they cause issues. So my first, my key thing is to find the most common crane fly species in Ireland. So it could be Tipula pallidosa or Tipula oleracea. And Tipula pallidosa has one life cycle per year, whereas Tipula oleracea has multiple life cycles. So we're hoping for the first species. And then from there, we're gonna analyze all the microbiome samples and hopefully find the biological control. I have some surveys here if anyone wants to fill any out. I'd love to expand my fieldwork for next year and continue on in the next three years to hopefully find an answer.